Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to go through how you can create a Gantt chart in Visio and how you can edit it and update it. So I'm on the new screen and there I've got is a Gantt chart, so I'll just click on that one. I want a blank Gantt chart, but you've got these different options that you can select. Um, I'm going to use the blank option. First off, when you click on Gantt chart, the screen you're going to get is asking you what is the date range. So we've got months and days, so I'm going to leave it on there, but you've got options in there, years, quarters, weeks, etc. And then you can change these minor units to weeks, days or hours. So I'm going to leave that on the default. Then it gives you on the top left there a number of tasks. I'll also leave that on five and the format is hours and eight hours per day and then this is the time scale range so the 10th of March to the 23rd of March so if I just extend that to the 31st of March just make it a little bit bigger if we go into format you can see how you can change if you so wish how the format on the Gantt chart itself appears so at the moment there it's set to none there's no shape um, style if you like and then you've got label options if you want to have those on the Gantt chart itself remember there's going to be a task list and then you might want the task name on the Gantt chart um, but you've got to bear in mind of the size of this and a different dif different um, position inside label right left inside and then you've got this these options for the summary bar so I'm going to leave all of that on the default settings and just click OK and let it create the Gantt chart for me. So straight away, it's come up with the the five tasks. If I just zoom this up a little bit so you can see it. So if I go develop strategy as the first or the title, if you like, that's going to be my title. And then next task is going to be coord teams short for coordinate teams test product market product I'll keep it simple now because this is um, not Microsoft project high-end look at what a project plan is and then sell product now obviously I want these to be this is the title I want these to be indented underneath the title so what you have to do is just basically hold your shift key down uh, click on each one of these tasks like so and then up on the top here you've got decrease increase indent so I've increased the indent like so now the date and time and durations are all listed there so if I say two days for that two days for this and two days for that I missed that one two days let's say two days for everything now if you want these to be linked if I click on the first one if I click on that one actually and then this 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 and then this what you can if you go into the Gantt chart tab is you can link these like so and then they're all linked and you can see the, the information flowing forward now if I click on one of these not double click if I can get it there we go the shape data appears for that task and in the shape data you've got all of this information as you can see there so the duration percentage complete if I change that to 40% for example on this one you get a percentage complete bar appearing there you've got an area to type some notes and then you've got some custom fields and if you right click on the shape you can go into define shape data and add your own or delete some of these if you don't want all of these I'll just cancel that for now now so each shape if you click on each shape it's got that sort of information so I'll just change that to 34% and you can see how that works and I put that one to 100% like so if you want to add 
an extra row. There's a couple of ways of doing it. So on a row there and go new. It inserts a row just above where you were. So I'll just undo that. Or you can manually do that by just grabbing a row and bringing that in and just sitting it into the bottom there and it'll snap in place. And again, I'll just do control Z to undo that. If you need to change the time, the scale, you've got on the Gantt chart tab, configure working time, which gives you the options to take some of these off or add Saturday maybe or change this. I don't want to do that. Chart options gets you back into the first screen that you saw where you can maybe change some of this. And again, I'm going to leave that as it was. Now, a title for this, if you want a title, you can add a title. You can just bring that on from the stencil on the left here. So I'll just drag it on. You can either bounce it onto the top or just sit it above. Call it develop product. And then click away. Like so. Now, if you click onto the lines, you might want to do this. If I click onto the line, the shape data, so if you haven't got shape data active, if I click onto the line, the shape data window is not there. Click on the data tab and then shape data window, so it comes up. You've got this option for lag. Now, if I put a two day, 2D lag, let's see what happens there. See, it gives you the two day lag there. If I click back onto this and put a minus two days on that, oops, minus two days, what you'll get is a lead. So it comes in, it's a lead time. So you've got lag or lead. If I put that back to zero, zero, which was the default, it should just follow on. If you want to insert a column, You've got a few different options. If I, let's do it on this bit. If I right click there, I can insert a column or I can just drag this column icon from the stencil and then drop it where I want it to go. But if I go for this option, it gives you a list there of different columns that you can insert. So let's go for a percentage complete, okay. And then let's do that again. Obviously, you're going to lose a bit of this on the screen, but if I insert column, let's go for resource names. So you've got resource this, so I can put in information in there. So I'll call that Steve Saxton and then Dave Jones and so on and so on. I won't fill that all in. And then if I come back over this side and insert a column and go for the level you've got the option there outline level okay there we go now i've already put this information in so you can see how it sits or you can just use the shape data area to type in the outline level so what i've done is i've made this top task develop strategy outline level one and then all the other tasks are outline level two. So they're all coming underneath this. So this is now a summary task, if you like. And then you can see these two little triangles on either end. And that is the percentage complete of the project, even though these are 40 and 34 percent. The overall percentage complete is that. You can hide the column afterwards if you don't want to look at that. If I just hide that, you know, if it gets too cluttered. Because all this information that you put in, in these columns is is sitting in here really so you can see it there there's the resource i haven't typed any notes and there's the outline level now if you want to export this into excel or microsoft project if you've got microsoft project on the gantt chart tab you have this export data option excel next now you have to browse for the file that you want it to go into so i've just got one called book one that overwrite it yeah and then next and then finish and then that should drop this information into Excel okay to that and have a look at Excel 
book one I should have dropped that in so you can see the resources are there the outline level and the percentage complete it's not formatted to percent and the information you get all the fields coming through from the shape data but if I just close Excel down get back into this so that's basically from the Gantt chart and you can also import data I'm not going to go through that but this is all I want to talk about for this little session how to create a simple Gantt chart and update it if you need to update it and export it if you want to export it so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one